So why don't you just call me then instead of calling the tow company? Come on. What do you mean, come on? I just want you to be more responsible with your car. I mean... Wait, what's today? Friday? Today's Thursday. All right, so Thursday. Just running a couple errands here and there. Nothing crazy, nothing planned. This weekend is the weekend that I'm gonna be filming with the Cobra. So it's a pretty important weekend, you know? Um, I actually just installed the SW lights, switchbacks, and all that stuff. So I was ready to do a photo shoot, um, clean up the car, just have it look nice and all that stuff. Super excited, lots of plans for today until I started backing up into this spot and out of nowhere, I just hear I'm like, what the heck? I check my little controller inside the car and I see that the driver's side wheel is at zero PSI. And I'm like, what? So I started backing out and I just hear like scraping, scraping. And I'm like, oh crap, don't tell me like I blew a strut or something like that. And uh, well, uh, check this out. This is the line that connects to the front struts. And yeah, it's, it's gone. I'm guessing I was turning the wheel a little bit too much and it was just not very good placement for this line. And um, yeah, that's, that's done for, that's completely done for. And I'm parked in front of a 7-Eleven Metro and insurance stuff, so I already went ahead and talked to them, hoping they don't call the insurance, not the insurance, but the tow company, because I definitely do not want to come back in a few days and have this thing gone. So I'm literally just gonna park it out here for a few days and I'm not looking forward to that. I'm so, I mean, this is kind of a nice neighborhood, right? Well, it's not like a hood rat neighborhood, so I don't think anybody's gonna break into it, but no, there's nothing inside the car. No cameras, no, nothing of value, you know, except my radio, I guess, but I don't really care. So yeah, I already went ahead and talked to Airlift and um, they're already gonna, well, you don't like to be on camera or what? <laughs> they're already sending me out this steel braided line along with the other lines. So they said they're gonna ship it out tomorrow and it's gonna be like four to five days before it gets to me since it's coming from Michigan. So I'm literally not gonna have my car for four to five days and it's literally gonna be parked right here because there's no way that I can get it towed to my apartment because it's super low and I can't even jack it up. I don't have any tools and I really need that braided line. That's gonna be the main thing. So I literally can't do anything right now. So I'm kind of screwed at this point. And uh, what's up? Oh, that's, okay, we got an Uber, so. Oh wait, let me grab, let me grab a few things real quick. So yeah, I guess got my Uber. I'll go ahead and talk about it back at the apartment. And uh, yeah, so, oh man, this is so sketchy. Hey, bro, I talked to your employees yesterday and I left they you. Said yesterday, yes, but not today. You know, if the manager was here in 7 Eleven, this would have been. Done I talked overnight. to the 7 Eleven and they were good with it. The manager? Yeah. I over overnight. Wait, they, what? If the manager was here? Yeah. This would have been gone overnight. No, but I talked to the employees there and they said it was fine. I talked to your employees. They left they my. Told me, they told me that, hey, you said, they said that yesterday was fine, but today they wouldn't guarantee anything. And so I have to answer No, your employees didn't say that. These, I, have to I told them house. for you to give me a call if anything Anyways, happened. I'm happy you're here. Please take it. I can't because one of my struts blew out. So I'm waiting for a part. When when are you gonna I can't. I literally can't drive it because it's on air suspension. Can you unlock the steering wheel at least? What? No, it's. I can drive it, but it's just too low that I'd be scraping everywhere. It's on air suspension. When can you take it away? I'd have to wait like a few days because I literally called Airlift, which is the company, and I'm waiting for a part. So either I, I wanted to get it towed back to my apartment. I live like 10 minutes away, but either way, there would be no way that they would be able to lift it up without this like- This one right here is blown? Yeah, that one right there, yeah. It won't raise up at all. No, the rest are fine, but this one is blown. You can even see the airline, just so you know, I'm not BSing. This airline, uh, it blew literally yesterday. So there's no air hey, coming to out. that airbag. What if I can get air to that line and we can just fucking roll this damn thing get this thing up right here we just roll it to one of these well the thing is that the airline is connected all the way back here so this is not the airline that i'm worried about that's the one that goes to the tank this is the one that goes the, so the tank goes through here and this connects to the other one so the other piece is what yeah which is going to be behind the wheel 
because this is not this is probably like a foot long so the other piece is probably gonna be shorter <laughs> uh, it might be a little bit longer but it's about it's probably, it's probably gonna be around the same size yeah no i feel you i mean because i even wanted to talk call a tow company but i'm just scared that it might scrape the underside like the oil pan or something like that um it's way too damn low I was even a flatbed out here they could probably do it we could block it what do you mean uh when i used to run flatbeds man if you can get the rest of this up right yeah i can get the rest of it this up this one will somewhat come up and the flatbed will be able to scoop underneath there but what they do is they put blocks I'm, down boards okay start about this high you're right they'll start stacking them as it rolls up and get it up so it doesn't hit your bumper up on well, the flat i could take off the front bumper if that's an issue i mean that's it's only a few bolts that's not the thing i'm concerned about uh, Man, that right there, that would get it on a flatbed versus my truck. Yeah. He said he just wants you to move it to like one of those parking spots over there. You're going to use it there for as many days as you want. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Just so why don't you just call me then instead of calling the tow company? Come on. What do you mean, come on? I just want you to be yeah, more responsible just, with your car. I mean, instead of wasting these guys' time, you so could have just called me. It's fair enough to park in front of a business when there's so much parking water right there. Oh, you think I wanted to park here? Like, I literally drove here for the insurance company. It's, so, easy, it's an easy yeah. So let's yeah. Just, yeah, let's just go and do that. It's okay. Yeah. I forgot my keys. <laughs> <laughs> I can move it. I just got to yeah, go, yeah, yeah, yeah. go grab That's my fine. keys That's and come fine. back. Go ahead and get your keys yeah. awesome. and just move it there. Okay. Okay. You won't call the tow company, but move it over there? It'll be a few days. I'm not going to call the tow company if you move it there. Okay. Cool. I won't. All right. Yeah. Awesome, man. How did you blow the stroke? I don't know. Um, did you hit a big bump? Nah, nah we airline. were literally in reverse. Uh -huh. They were showing me the airline right here. Oh, shit. It ripped. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's the airline. So I guess when I was reversing, because I had it held up like all the way to the inner fender, um, held up with a zip tie. So I guess I might have turned my wheels a little bit too much, and I kept doing that over and over. You don't drive it like this, though, do you? No, no I raised it up. I raised it, it like this. Yes. Yeah, like that. Totally yeah. That's why it's so low. Yeah, hard park. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What motor so, do you have in this? Uh, 4.6 V8. Yeah. You're from Idaho? I'm from Dallas, but it's kind of a long story, but yeah, yeah, I bought yeah, this yeah. car in Idaho. Yeah. I'm from Dallas, yeah. So. You know it all in Idaho? Yeah. It's my baby. So. What year is it? 2003, Mach 1. Yeah. So you bought it in Idaho? Yeah. Yeah, my, my family moved over there of a good job opportunity and i moved there to save some money i bought it there and then i drove it back wow yeah so. so how have you been able to keep the front end from getting tore up oh like on speed bumps and stuff yeah well i mean like i said i just raise it up like how a few far inches does it raise up? i could raise it up like all the way past uh, stock height but i i, I when you were just when you're just cruising around how high um uh, i even scrape on bumps because i don't want to be looking like a four by four when i'm driving so it's probably like I'd say like right there. Really? Yeah, nothing crazy, but I'd say like right there. That's where the. How does it ride? Does it ride comfortably? No, it's, no. no it's, it's not a comfortable ride, is it? So no, I mean it's an older Mustang, you know, so you're not gonna yeah. expect like the best ride quality and stuff, but yeah, yeah so. Because you normally these cars like this, uh -huh. the front ends are like all tore up and they're hanging off and. Yeah. <laughs> probably because they're. <laughs> Yeah. You ever see them like yeah, that? I do. Man. I do. Yeah, maybe like the Like Jeep. they painted it 10 times and Yeah. Those like, are hanging out on the side. Yep. Yeah, like the GTs and V6s don't those are like mistreated, but the Cobras and the Mach 1s those are a little bit more rare of a car. So Did it already have the engine in it when you bought it? Yeah. I yeah. mean, I don't mean the modifications were already all done. No, it was it was completely stock. Like I've added all the things. Yeah, so like the wheels, headlights, bumper, tint uh i might actually have a pro charger ready to install a what pro charger a supercharger yeah so i'm gonna be installing i priced one for that truck it's five g's how much is yours i bought a used for 2500 new they are like six thousand seven thousand yeah so and then install right well the install is pretty easy so i could do that with a few friends in the garage what is all that oh <laughs> is, is that, that mud or paint no that's uh i don't i don't even know but after after i came i was ready like to wash it and do a photo shoot with it oh really yeah so because i just got the bumper on like a few days ago and i took it to get it buffed from the painter guy um so you can see like some of that buff right there the little wax so you can stay i will get your keys are you sure yeah i mean i'll put it on the car okay <laughs>
Yeah. I mean, I, I guess, yeah. Too nice to y'all. Now I got a price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. A6 all the hate. I won't get a ball today. Got lost in the ball today. I'm flipping the